but it's much nicer now that I can sleep. I mean, I'm still getting some pain, which I think is rare, but also more Probably. common than you'd think. You're making me nervous. Can I just leave it like that? Yeah, if you want to look at it. <sighs> like Poltergeist when she's running for, for bedroom. I'm not keen. Well, I, I don't like the fact that water could splash out. I like to keep it contained. We did a test this morning. The, yeah. the shower cubicle at the lodge is going to be the same as the one at the apartment. The same screen size. Yeah. And water gets onto the back wall in the lodge because exactly. it's not because it's not a rain shower. If it was a rain shower, it would be self-contained, yeah. but it's not. It's directional. So I'm not 100% keen on that. I like a shower that is contained with a door. And you just walk in and close the door. Yeah. And then just you can splash about as much as you like, and it doesn't matter. Splash about. Yeah, splash about as much as you like, and it doesn't matter. Um, so, so I think we're going to go for that. Yeah, we're just going to have a check at that hair update. I have washed it this morning with Johnson's baby shampoo. So much stuff came off. Yeah, because it, the medicated shampoo that I got from the clinic has been making my head and my scalp really dry. Um, but this morning, good news is it's lots of scabs and things came off. It's a, it's a lovely co topic of conversation. It was actually um, so much that it's actually now got a shine on it. It was yeah. hard to take the photos. So the, it is still dry. I've got some aloe vera spray coming today, which the clinic recommended I get, and a lot of people on the forum say get. Um, so that's due today. So I'll just spray that on as well, just to help the healing. Um, but it's much nicer now that I can sleep. I mean, I'm still getting some pain, which I think is rare, but also more Probably. common than you'd think when you do look into it. That's it's a double dutch thing. I know it is. Um, when you look into the forums, it's kind of common, rare, but I found another forum that said they had the same pain in the donut area, on, which gets worse on a night. Like, I can't feel it now, but then on a night, it gets worse, and it kind of throbs, and it's just the nerves sort of repairing themselves. Did you wake up in the middle of the night and have some tablets? It, yeah. Because it was throbbing, so I had some tablets, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better now that I can sleep better and I'm getting some proper sleep. So, we'll have to look at the bathrooms. Well, that's an extensive range. Yeah, two, two, showers. two showers in being cute. That's like the one in the Westwood, remember? Oh, yeah, I can't remember. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, on to the next place. Right, so this is one of the walking ones which we were debating with the flap. Let's have a look at the flap. It's yeah. got 25 mil glass, it's like industrial. Yeah, so you leave it like that, I presume, when you're not in it. Yeah. And then when you're in it, just pull it out. But this projection bit here is not far enough forward. Yeah. But I like the frameless look. Mm. You definitely want yeah. to look for that. And there's a normal cubicle. That is what we actually planned out in the last vlog. Yesterday. Yesterday when we had the um, things on the floor, the yellow tape. We needed to take measure from the car. So we can measure. Come get one there. Just realised I've actually got the exact same flooring that we got at the apartment. Um, so and that is almost exactly the same unit colour and grain. So that is kind of what it's going to look like upstairs. Right, we think we've decided now. We liked that one. It was kind of, I just said to Nick, it was like it was meant to be. It had our flooring there. It had almost the same coloured unit and it was the exact same size of, of yeah. cubicle that we'd planned Imagine when we went back to the apartment so yesterday. It's meant to be. So that's it, we've decided. Well, we're still toying with the idea of going for a 17, oh, a yeah, 17 just, mil tray yeah. rather than an 80 mil that's tray. That's right, we can turn back. So we've got to go back now because of exciting news. Felix is on his way to drop our um, Hello Fresh off. Felix is fit. Felix is our DPD driver and we are going back to Hello Fresh because we're sick of like, what am I going to have for tea tonight? What am I going to have for tea? We've lost this food mojo with ideas. Yeah, yeah we have. Like so we're just going to go to Hello Fresh for a while and um, just try that for a while. Well, one week. 
Right, we're back. HelloFresh has arrived. Um, we're going to look at it. Felix. What? Yeah, from Felix. Um, we're going to look at it a little bit later. We're going to go out for a walk and um, we're having a snack for lunch. Yeah. Skinny whip and a packet of crisps. Hang on then. Right, we've arrived where we're going to go walking. We're actually coming back to where we went with Batty B in the other, in the vlog the other day. Uh, the Trans Penan Trail, we're actually going to walk that. Uh, not all not of it, obviously. Way. I'm going to tell, take us a long vlog. Um, we're going to walk the first couple of miles on it and then do a loop back just to see what it's like in this kind of area. And then um, maybe we'll do the next section in the next walking video. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, put it on. Loosen the strap, at least putting yeah. a hat on for the first time because he got sunburnt on the foot on his forehead yesterday. You're making me nervous. Can I just leave it like that? Yeah, if you want to look at tit. <sighs> the thing is, the graphs are in the are in the cap at the top. That'll do. Like that. Is that tight? Yeah. Well, get a bigger hat. Well, I, I ain't got a bigger hat. No, it's not tight tight. That's fine. That's fine. Well, it's loose at the back. Yeah, that's fine. <gasps> making me nervous. Right, here we are at the start of the Pennine, uh, Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, oh, so, just... if we carried on this for 215 miles, we'd end up in Southport. So this is the start of it. I don't know how far we're going. I think you've got it planned out in your head, haven't you? miles, I think we'll try. Yeah, so there's the old railway station, which we passed the other day, Ooh, which <laughs> isn't it bad. You know, I should have put my hoodie on. Maybe I was just saying, like, turn the camera around. Don't, don't hide away. Show everybody what you've done. Hello, Benny. The baseball cap was a little uh, tight. So I rummaged around in the boot and I found this woolly hat. Snow hat. Which uh, is quite nice actually, it's keeping my head cut nice and cosy. We were just saying, right, maybe we should, what we should do is for like for a vlog series is walk the entire Trans Pennine Trail from here all the way to Stockport. It would probably take us a week to do it and stay at like checking Airbnbs out all, on the way. Checking out all the cafes and, and stuff yeah, along the way. Around, we can, how many toast the current tea cakes we can clock up. Imagine that all that weight that we'd lose from walking like well, it got, it's going to have to be about 25 miles a day it's doable. to do it in like doable. eight days. Yeah. Well, it'd take eight days to do 215 miles, wouldn't it? Just over. Right, so we've been walking now for two miles, something no, like that. Is yet. A bit disappointing. What do you think it is? So I am actually now seriously looking into the logistics of doing this the whole trail, the whole 215 miles. I just looked it up. Oh, I've just worked it out first of all before I looked it up. I reckon if we did um, three mile an hour at seven hours a day, giving us so it's like walk in the morning, nine o'clock, finish at five, like give us an hour for rest during the day. 21 miles a day would take about 10 days to walk the full trail. And um, we've got a couple of people that we could probably invite along either to do sections of it or do the whole thing with us. And um, obviously we'd do it for charity. But before we kind of look into it in detail, we'd have to look at the logistics of it. Because obviously Lee's got his hernia operation coming up. Then um, maybe a new, we've got maybe potentially a road trip planned. It maybe has to be a winter thing. Oh no, I'm not liking it winter. No, not like October time -ish. So uh, who knows, keep watching to find out whether it actually comes to fruition or not. I'm kind of sounding people out at the minute to see who'd be interested in like doing a two day section um, or like maybe a one day section. It'd be brilliant if it were like this perfect walking weather. Well we've just done two miles, we've still got another 18 to go before we hit his uh, daily target. Oh, like you meant today? No. I could have seen it all coming That I wouldn't grow wiser for each day Am I the only one lost in translation? horror movies where you walk down there and the tunnel just gets further away as you walk you know what I mean come on then so, like, try doing it zoom in and then as you get closer to it zoom out like poltergeist when she's running for, for bedroom yeah. right we're just coming out of I think we're coming is this off the transparent trail now what yeah we came off it just cut the corner what oh afternoon tea ah. don't want to be open to me no. Fucking joking. We could have a drink though, come with it is. If it open, yeah. Frick's sakes, it's not open. Mm. 
Right, we started our return journey, however, we've almost just got run over by idiots driving down the road at 90 mile an hour when it's supposed to be a 30. So, we took a diversion, we're going to get back onto the Trans Pennine Trail and, head and walk back the route that we came. So, this road ahead, just a minute, there's another car coming. This road ahead, um, we'll actually rejoin it in about a couple of hundred yards. And the other thing is, we've just had a phone call from the bathroom fitter to say that he's no longer coming next week. He's actually coming at the back end of next week for two days and then the week after at the back end of that week for two days. So it's scuppered all our plans. We were going to go back after the weekend, stay there after Father's Day for the full week, for the full week oh, let them do it oh, and then drive back to the lodge. Now it's going to be split over two weeks oh, wow. which gives us more time to decide what we're doing with the chow tray. I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me I think we've changed his mind about this um, Trans Pennine full walk. We have done eight miles because we've only done eight miles and we've had it. We'll think of something else. <laughs> and that would be ten, we've been looking it up on the way, ten to fourteen days full of walking. Whew. So uh, we'll think of something else. Maybe we'll go back up to Snowden again. No, I think I'd rather do this than Snowden. Back from our walk. What? Why? Mm. Hello, fresh time. Let's have a it's look. Been it's a been a while, while hasn't it? It's now been a while. They don't, they don't um, separate the menus now between bags. Right. Apparently, it's just dumped in. Although, saying that, everything's in a bag. Right, let's have a look at what we've got this week. I did, I've chosen all the meals this week. So, of course, I've gone healthy. So that means we're having salad and. and um, so we have a warm panzella salad with chilli and crumbled feta. That looks very nice. We have fruity Middle Eastern style lamb stew. That looks nice. I think we've had that before actually. Curried crispy chicken breast. Curried crispy chicken breast and turmeric roast potatoes with garlicky green beans and a rater. And Waldorf style salad with chicken and bacon. I'm sure I'm missing a, uh, a recipe card here. Oh, have, you got another, have you got another recipe card? Oh, I've got some, um, yeah, vegetables. One, two, three, four. There should be another one. I think we're missing a card. One, two, three, four. So, um, there's some garlic here as well. Right, you best get the app loaded then. Yeah. Oh, I got these. Oh, no, I didn't get that extra. She you a square roll? I didn't get that extra. No, 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 that's probably for a meal. I got some extra uh, veggies just to uh, be healthy. I think they're the rainbow ones, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Right, we decided to go for Waldorf style salad. You know what that always reminds me of? Waldorf salad. The Waldorf Hotel in Orlando? No. Faulty Towers. Why? When he tries to make a Waldorf salad and he ain't got the ingredients. Under 600 calories, one of our five a day. 25 minutes! Bit of chicken ass. It smells beautiful, I must say. It's the bacon I can smell. Yeah, I think so. It's not actually quite cooked yet, but um, yeah. well, we're still waiting for the potatoes Dijon. and the green beans, and then I've got to mix the Dijon mustard, Dijon mustard in it, and then I've got to put the um, that one's yours. Mm. Then I've got to put the um, the walnuts in. Walnuts. Walnuts. Well, I must say this looks nice. I'm glad we've got hello fresh nice. again. Because we won't be having anything like this. No, got it's good fresh. for ideas. That's the yeah. thing, but. Well, it's good for ideas and the fact that you've got all the ingredients. Well, that's well. Brought to your doorstep. Should we sprinkle some parmesan on to spice it up? No, no, that's fine for me. Fine for me. It's made anyway, near the roof. It's not near the friggin' roof. Right, we're in James. We're going to um, the, an Amazon locker to pick up some bald cream for Lee. Um, you can't call me bald anymore because I'm not bald anymore. You're just bald as a coot. <laughs> Um, so this is the first time that Lee's been in James for weeks. Yeah, it's the it. first time that James has actually been out apart yeah. from when we took Batty Brenda out. And it's smelling fresh as a Smells daisy. Smells raspberry ripple still. Yeah. Um, so we've just been sat looking at what we can do for the next week. Um, we've been toying the idea with like going away to the lakes, which is ridiculously expensive at the minute. So the plan is we have got some Virgin Experience vouchers that Janine got us and Chris and Jen got us two years ago. Two years ago, and they kept being put off, put off because of COVID. 
So we've just cashed one in for a luxury spa break at a Harrogate Hotel. No, not spa. Uh, no, no, uh, yeah, a luxury hotel stay at a Harrogate Hotel, including breakfast. Just booked it, Lee's called them up. Sorry, you can't book it online, you better book, you better phone up tomorrow to do it. So I can't book it tonight, so. And then the tomorrow. other one, so that one's Chris and Jen's, the other one we're gonna try and book a meal in Leeds yeah. for the same time, because it's only just down the road. Just a little um, treat. So we can't change that until we know we can get the hotel. It's we're about. hoping to do that this week. We'll have to see tomorrow. I'll so, phone them first thing in the morning and we'll see what availability is like. This is the third time we've changed this Virgin Experience day, but obviously because of COVID. First, Chris and Jen bought us a gin, Tasting thing or something. Gin tasting it? in York. Which we're looking forward to, but they actually cancelled that. No, they changed it twice, yeah. and then they emailed us and said that the landlord, that the building that they're running, was greedy. And um, <laughs> they actually said that on an email. They actually well. said that on the email that the greedy landlord wouldn't let them book it at the same money, so they cancelled it and said we'll get back to you. And they never got back to us. So we changed so it to we've a just little, uh, No, no, we, first of all, we changed it a few months ago to a steam train ride. No, that was your Janine's. Chris and Jen's oh, has always been Jane. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, so we've just changed it anyway, yeah, to a, a nice stained Harrogate. Janine got us a Segway and we changed it to uh, Bolton uh, Bolton Railway. But um, if we go to this Harrogate Hotel, I'll change that to hopefully a meal in Leeds, maybe yeah. or something. And we'll make it a little, a little soiree type, type little getaway, breakaway, little nightaway type thing. And um, so anyway, so yeah, we'll be back in our stomping grounds. We're going to an Amazon locker now. It's at a co-op. Uh, it's for my head. It's some aloe vera spray. Hello, Vera. Which helps with healing and redness and um, dry scalp. So there's no wrong with your scalp now. It, it feels a bit dry and what? red. It just helps with healing. So anyway, as it's at a co-op, I can see skylights in your head. It's that shiny. As it's at a co-op, I'm going to allow Nick to get me a little treat for dessert. Something kind of yogurty and something kind of fruity. I'm just going to get a bag of apples. I'm going to get a, a pack of mangoes. Okay. A big pack. Okay. Right, Nick's got in for my um, spray, my aloe vera spray. So he's got instructions to get me something healthy but nice. As I said, perhaps strawberries and yogurt. Uh, so it's a nice evening. I don't know if you can see, but the sun has finally come out, probably for the first time today. Um, so I think we're just going to get back and, well, I was going to say start planning our nice time in Harrogate, but I can't do that until I phone them in the morning. Hopefully they've got availability, but um, if you've ever had one of these like red letter days or virgin experience days, it's usually like, yeah, you can book it, but it'll be like 12th of January 2023. So, fingers crossed we can get in, because it'd just be nice to get away. What you got me? Strawberries. And? Yoghurt. What yoghurt you got me? Fat-free, thick yoghurt. Eww. Mainly because it said thick. Yeah, free protein. Oh shit, no, it said, oh, fat-free, yeah, it's just fat-free. Yeah. And I got myself some um, tangerines and some nectarines and, and some grapes. Let's have a look at me, um, me aloe vera. Aloe vera. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Moment. I did send. I always do this. I said, it's always split on the first. I, saw, I sent a picture to the um, clinic and they said this looks great. So I'm going to spray a little bit on tonight. Blimey, that's a bit ball. You can't a bit see what? Um, aloe vera. There you go. I'm spraying that on my noggin when we get back to the lodge. Noggin sprayed. Nick's off to bed. I'm not good. It's still light outside. outside. It's still light outside. I don't care. Is that seven mile walk? It's absolutely killed me. Ooh. I need a hip replacement now. I keep getting shivers whenever I spray out on my head. Um, Why well, spray out? No, but I spray the aloe vera. Aloe vera. Yeah. So you mean aloe vera? Aloe vera. That's what I said. You said aloe vera. While you're there, I do love vera. Hi vera. Hi vera. Um, Nick is gonna do a few comments of the day. Thanks for commenting on all our videos, guys. I'm just about to start watching some YouTube videos. I've just watched um, Chris Loss in Florida on the Velocicoaster. Go check that out if you haven't already. Um, first comment, please. Uh, right, AF says, um, oh my God, it sounds like you're giving, you're going to give birth. I think that he's talking about when I have my hair transplant. Mm, no, it's on the day before the hair transplant. Yeah, so I think it will maybe because we were cling filming things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we really don't need to do that, but it was just to be safe, I'm sorry. I didn't want blood and pus yeah. on that sofa. You actually got it on the pillar that was on there, so it's a good job, actually. Uh, Natasha says, thank you both for another great vlog, as always. Hope all went well with your hair transplant, Lee. Better than I expected. 
Beach Life 78, the haunted house was so funny. Glad you had a great break with your friends. We did, it was We've done that haunted house loads now, haven't we? You, it's never... It, it's, it's a good one in Bridlington. If you're ever in Bridlington, it is a good one. The um, one in Whitby is actually better because they have live mm. actors in it. Oh no, I didn't like, I'm sure oh, the no, Bridlington like one's that. better. Apart from it dumps you onto the street behind. Like, thanks for your money, here you are. Yeah. Onto back streets. Yes. Uh, Mark Anderson says, Lee, I had a hair transplant 12 months ago. If you have any questions or are interested to see the results, let me know. Hmm. I will contact you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, one more. One more. Sue Foster. Um, hope you're keeping well, Lee. Hope it wasn't too painful. I'm sure Nick will look after after you. Uh, he makes a good nurse a lot. He does make a good nurse. He's been very good to me. He's been washing my hair every day. and has been like bathing a baby. <laughs> he has been very good to me. So, you get off to bed. What can I have to eat though before we go? Nothing. I want some of it. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Um, drop, uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to book our um, couple of nights in Harrogate. Nick actually used to work in Harrogate. I've Nine ne years I've worked in Harrogate. Yeah, I've never really done Harrogate. I think what? I've walked through sort of once when we went oh, to I'll some... Oh, to Betty's Tea Rooms. Well, I was going to say there's a Betty's Tea Room there. Yeah, we'll have to go on a Wednesday when it's cheaper. Mm. See I don't think, I'm, that was, I'm not even sure whether they do have a cheap day. No problem. Bye. Bye for now.